Hello everyone and welcome to another game I played on PTCGO. For this match I'm going to be playing a Gengar Robo Sub deck and I will be highlighting this match for a very specific reason as shall become apparent at the very end of this match. So here uh, I'm starting out and my opponent Mulligan's showing uh, quite a few disruption cards like Head Ringer and Rock Guard there. I will be leading off with a Gengar and I will choose to draw an extra card to the mulligan, and my opponent reveals a Manectric EX, so probably a Mega Manectric deck. He attaches a Lightning Energy, and then we see an Acro Bike. So he will look at the top two cards, uh, take one and discard the other, I believe. So we see a Ultra Ball hit the discard pile, another Manectric hits the bench, and a Shrine of Memories is placed as a stadium. And then a Skyla gets played. So, definitely a massive turn because he's now going to go for the Head Ringer. So, he has uh, some setup uh, conducted thus far. I will put down another Gengar. I can attach an Energy, but first I will bump his Stadium out using Dimension Valley. I will attach a Mystery Energy onto my Bench Gengar and then use an Escape Rope to bring that into the active since uh, a head ringer on a Gengar will make it harder to attack on my first turn, or impossible. I will now use Gengar's first attack and do damage to his active Manectric. He puts down a C dot, attaches a Grass Energy onto his new active, and he's going to use Overrun and do uh, some damage to the active and some damage to the bench. So that'll be annoying with a deck that uses Robo-Sub, but I think Overrun only does 20 damage, so it is survivable. I will attach a DCE onto the active Gengar, and then Juniper my hand away. I put down a Sigilyph, um, since it looks like he'll be relying on Manectric. He won't be able to attack that. However, Mega Manectric can, as I've learned, unfortunately, the hard way, that Safeguard does not block Mega EXs from attacking, or Mega Pokemon attacking. So I Ultra Ball for a Skrelp, and I will hit the active with Night Corridor and go into Sigilyph, which he won't be able to attack unless he evolves. And now his active is poisoned. He is going to Ultra Ball here for a Jirachi. So he'll probably get a Juniper or Sycamore, whichever he plays in his deck. And we see the Sycamore come into play. Gets a fresh hand of seven, and then it plays a crushing hammer. So let the nuisance begin. Fortunately, he gets a tails on that. So he's going to manually retreat into C dot after attaching a grass energy onto it, and he does this in order to use call for family. So that will get him um, not anything all that useful right now, since he went for a shaman, and I haven't really taken any prizes yet. So in this turn, I can attack to the active Sigilyph, uh, but here I'm actually going to go for VS Seeker, get the Juniper back into my hand, and play down a Psychic Energy onto Sigilyph, and Juniper my hand away, unfortunately having to get rid of a DCE in the process. I do get a Robo Sub here, I will put down on my bench, and I can play another Escape Rope to get into a Gengar, and I'm hoping he sends out something that I can uh, attack and potentially knock out within two turns. So he's going to send up Shaman. I can't one k hit KO uh, this, unfortunately, but I can dark, dark Quarter here for 60, and I can send up uh, my Robo Sub into the active, and this will make his Shaman essentially useless since. Uh, Again, I haven't taken any prizes yet, and if it's the first thing to go, it'll be a wasted call for family. But he does attach a lightning energy onto it, and then plays a professor's letter, so we may see a manual retreat. Uh, and that's going to get him a grass and a lightning energy. And he actually lets Shaman in the active spot. So that's good for me. I can actually knock it out next turn. So I will play a Mewtwo down, attach a DCE onto it, and here I can actually play that escape rope instead of discarding that robo sub, which will let me uh, play it uh, next turn. So I will use the escape rope, so it'll spare Shaman, but potentially I can knock something else out. 
If he sends up Jirachi, that's also good, since that's fairly weak here. And I could potentially hit Veerbank City Gym and get the knockout there. So uh, he sends up his Manectric EX. I play a Colrus. I do get the Veerbank City Gym, and I will play it here. It will boost my damage a bit here. Dark Quarter can now do uh, 60 and plus 30 in between turns. Then I send up Robo Sub into the active. He takes the damage in between turns, and I take my first two prizes. So right now, um, my board position seems fairly strong. He's going to send up Shaman and attach an energy onto it. He can get the knockout on Robo Sub, but it won't net him any prizes unless he has a Lysander in hand or a catcher. And he actually has a Lysander, so he's going to bring up Gengar. Use Revenge Blast for 90, so that's short of the knockout. And here I will attach a Psychic Energy onto my Bench Gengar with the one with the Head Ringer. And I will use Dark Corridor again, getting two more prizes here and sending another Robo Sub, or that same one, once again into the active. So now my opponent has taken no prizes here. He's going to send up Manetric, attach it. Lightning Energy onto it. He can attack here with Overrun, hitting the benched Gengar and the active Robo Sub, but he gets a knockout on neither. And here um, I can hit with my Gengar or my Mewtwo potentially, so I will discard my Robo Sub, and this is what I wanted to show off. So apparently, at the point in time when I was playing, and this happened quite often to the point where it really annoyed me. Uh, discarding Robosub from the active automatically uh, caused the loss. So I hope they fix this glitch. I haven't actually checked since I don't really want to be playing this deck if its basic mechanism guarantees a loss. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that and avoid Robosub until it gets fixed.